Hey guys, this is Cliff Schechter, and welcome back to The Takedown. Ted Cruz, Ted Cruz, Ted Cruz, senator from Texas, almost lost to Beto O'Rourke a few years ago in a more Republican Texas than it is now, even because he's so universally hated. Like, the stories are legend. His roommate, who hated him so much, that uh, who's also a producer for various films, as soon as Ted started running, he started telling stories about what it was like to live with Ted in his room in Princeton freshman year and how Ted used to, let's just say, find ways to play with himself in the evening. <laughs> Not something we all needed to know, by the way. His daughters, who recoiled when he's tried to hug them. That's what you want. You want your young daughters, and I think they're a little bit older now, but you want your young daughters when you're running for president, <clears throat> like he did in 2016, to literally recoil in horror as you try to hug them. Only like two of the other senators in the entire U.S. Senate, and they're as big jackasses as he is, Mike Lee and Rand Paul, were willing to endorse him. Um, all these people that knew him endorsed other people, and you can just go on and on. He's an absolutely loathsome person. I rarely have seen somebody, even in public life, who just to look at him, to listen to him, the condescension that drips from him, the nastiness, the fat, ugly kind of, just, it's it, it's hard to even say, because it's not like, it's almost like he's fat and ugly on purpose. It seems like if he can do something purposely to be gross and off-putting, he does it. If he can do something to purposely insult people, he does it. He's just, he, he makes Trump actually seem likable. That's something. Um, and this weekend has just been a banner weekend. I mean, look, hats off to you Astros fans out there. You crushed my New York Yankees. But you know what? Where we all came together is when Ted Cruz showed up and Mr. Man of the People, with the wife who works for Goldman Sachs and runs off to Cancun, was sitting behind home plate at Yankee Stadium, which has got to be like $10,000 seats. And everyone booed him so loudly and yelled at him and harassed him. And we'll have some video of that. He had to get up and leave in the seventh inning. And on the way out, it was, go back to Cancun, you effing racist. <laughs> you hate women. They, Donald Trump called your wife ugly and then you endorsed him, which is true. Ted sat there and had a sad face and a poorly belly and endorsed Donald Trump. Um, the man who said his wife was like a dog. Um, because that's who he is. He would do anything for power. Either he would throw his mother, mother in front of a freaking train, right? Um, he would literally betray his best friends. Might even step on a treadmill for like 30 seconds. I mean, that's what we're talking here, right? Um, he'd do that even for power. And as if it wasn't bad enough that he got harassed to the point where some folks who'd been in the Yankee Stadium, and I've been there during playoff games, it is loud, um, others I knew there said they've never heard somebody so loudly booed. Everyone, Astros fans, Yankees fans, non-fans of either, probably the umpires were standing up and saying, you're out, and just booing him because he's just that much of an, a greasy, gross, disgusting, despicable human being who will never be president and doesn't seem to get it. Um, and as if that wasn't bad enough, then he went on The View and on The View, Ted Cruz was sitting there giving his stupid ideas and talking about how things are worse now than they were to Trump. You know, it's better when you have an economy where no one can go to work because everybody has a, pan has a disease from a pandemic that you allowed to proliferate. It's better when uh, we've, got, uh, we've got you colluding with Russia and, and undermining U.S. national security on the, on the international stage in Helsinki. It's better when we've got somebody who literally doesn't understand how uh, our military works and decides to pull out with on our allies the Kurds and almost starts a war. And, you know, better to attack people who are minorities and immigrants and this and that. I mean, these were just all so much better times with Donald Trump stealing classified secrets, staring up like a jackass at, uh, at a uh, eclipse. That's what I want in a president, a guy that stares at an eclipse and tells you to inject bleach. Better times. Um, he said that on The View, and as they were going to commercial, he or they weren't going to commercial, pardon me, he was heckled so loudly they had to go to commercial. So Ted Cruz, in the span of like two days, was heckled so loudly he had to leave Yankee Stadium and heckled so loudly they had to cut to commercial on The View. That is what a despicable, disgusting human being he is. And yes, it brings a smile to my face because if there's anything we can agree on, everybody hates Ted Cruz. He's never going anywhere nationally, thank God. And hopefully someone will run against him soon and kick his butt out of the U.S. Senate. 
Uh, thanks for being here, guys. I'm so glad to be back after uh, my bout with COVID. Feel a lot better. Uh, and please subscribe. We're back to in growth mode. We want this channel to be bigger and have more impact. Uh, turn on your notifications, like, comment, um, and thanks for being here.